Good morning everyone. It's day three of my Disney World vacation and today I'm heading to Star Wars Celebration. It's at the Orange County Convention Center here in Orlando. Uh, so super excited about that. Going to try to get all the pins and check out the Lego booth. And uh, yeah, just check out the whole event. I've never been to Star Wars Celebration so it's my first time. I got my media badge on here. It's got BB-8 on it. So, pretty awesome. Gonna, gonna go get my Uber now and head over. Waiting outside for my Uber right now. Alright guys, I finally got in. I just got my Lego exclusive. I'll show you a look at that later. The line for the show store is 120 minutes. Hey guys, just got back from Star Wars Celebration. Crazy time there. Uh, lots of people. The line this morning was insane to get in. I didn't realize that media had a different entrance, so I waited for like an hour and 15 minutes in the normal line. And then the lady came down and was like, media, veterans, blah, blah, blah. Um, you guys can go straight to the glass doors to get in. 
So um, that saved me about an hour and a half more of waiting. Because outside it was like a two and a half hour, um, or like a two mile line. It was insane. But Star Wars Celebration was awesome. I was really happy I got to go. I have a four day pass, but I only went for the first day. Because um, really all I wanted to do was um, check out the pin releases and just get some footage from the event. Um, so, you know those 40 pins that I talked about? They were going to be released. Those were at the Celebration store, and that was a two-hour wait. Um, so I didn't do that. Um, I did go around to the different vendors, um, but the vendors that I went to already sold out of the pin. So I didn't get any of the 40. But I did go to the Disney Parks booth, and they had a bunch of surprise releases. I didn't know that they were going to do... Um, oh, first of all, I didn't even know that Disney Parks was going to have a booth there. And they released a bunch of 40-year pins for Star Wars, so that was really cool to see. I um, posted about it on social, I'm sure you guys already saw. And there's a blog post up at DisneyPinsBlog.com. But I'll show you all the pins right now really quick. I'm going to do an unboxing video of the one. The pins I got, those ones up there aren't really that really related. But um, yeah, so this one here, really cool Millennium Falcon. This is like a jumbo pin, um, well, mini jumbo. It's really big. And then down here, this part is a stand. So that's cool. And I'll leave a link below to the blog post for all these pins. This one here says, who shot first? And it's a slider. So that's neat. I got two of those. Some of these are gonna be at dpbstore.com. This right here is a two pin 40 year set. That was $20. Here are the mystery boxes I got. I'm gonna be doing an unboxing on those. This was really cool. This is the uh, piece of history pin for The Force Awakens. It has a Storm Trooper costume in the bubble there. That's really neat. Um, this pin um, was released and it's going to be coming to Disney Parks as well. It was just released at Celebration first as part of that countdown collection. This is the very first Last Jedi pin. Force for Change. That benefits UNICEF. This pin here, I believe, is a button as well. It comes off and there's a button underneath. But yeah, Darth Vader Liz pin, limited edition. Really cool. This right here has glitter embellishments on it with Chewbacca. It says, Wookiees need love too. Limited edition. Retail price $15.99. And then next here, these, um, this is the 40 year uh, limited release pin. And uh, let me try to open it up here with one hand. There's a look at the inside, may the force be with you. And it has that screen print there. And it did release. And then these I got at that um, pin booth. This is just a random pin booth they had there. Someone was selling Disney pins. I got, bought a hidden Mickey. This uh, at at pin, and then an old Pirates pin, which is cool. Uh, I'm going to be doing a giveaway with these coming up at DisneyPinsBug.com. So be sure to check that out. Um, but yeah, I had an awesome time today at Star Wars Celebration. If you guys are Star Wars fans, I highly recommend it. And uh, yeah, let's continue this vlog, because I'm going to be heading down to Disney Springs next. Hi right, guys, I'm heading to Disney Springs. I'm going to the rooftop deck here at Paddlefish. Mickey and Minnie greeting you as you come in to Pinch Raiders at Disney Spring. They have mysteries under here. Usually they open those up. Here's some accessories. Vest, booster packs, mystery pin sets, lanyards. Welcome, pin traders. Remember.
membership group pens. Restocking. These are awesome. Tower of Terror. More lanyards back here. Had an awesome meal at Paddlefish. It was amazing. I got the crab ceviche and lobster corn dogs, which were amazing. I'm sure you guys already saw them in this video. But yeah, awesome day at Star Wars Celebration. Beautiful night ending in here at Disney Springs. Got the new pin releases this week, the Lion King pin release. Tomorrow I think is going to be Hollywood Studios and then Epcot for the evening. So I'm excited about that. All right guys, I'm uh, walking back now to Buena Vista Palace. Just got back to my room. Thank you guys for joining in for day three of my Walt Disney World vacation for April 2017. Hope you enjoyed Star Wars Celebration. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and we'll be back again for more Disney vlogs and Disney pin videos.